Let's take a look at these probability questions. So first of all, what is the probability of rolling an even number on a six sided die? Well, the, num the numbers are either odd or they're even. So it's a 50 50. So that's a half. So half the odd as well. Um, the square numbers on a, uh, on a die where you've got numbers one to six, well, one is a square number and so is four. So that's two out of the six are square numbers. And that is the same as one third. Question number two. Out of the 20 shirts, what's the probability of choosing red? Well, there's three red, so that's three out of 20. Black or white? Well, we know that there are eight whites. <clears throat> uh, how many black are there? Well, in total, there's eight plus three, which is 11, plus five is 16, so therefore four must be black. So, the, of, um, so black or white means there are 12 that are black or white. So that is going to be 12 out of the 20, which can be simplified to 6 out of 10 and 3 out of 5, but 12 out of 20 is fine. Question 3, what's the probability of choosing a BLT when there are a total of 20 sandwiches? Well, it's 10 out of 20, and that is the same as 1 out of 2, a half. What's the probability of choosing BLT or ham and cheese? So that's 10 plus 6 which is 16 out of the 20 are BLT or ham and cheese. And 16 out of 20 is the same as eight out of 10, which is the same as four out of five. So any of these answers are acceptable. Question number four, we know that in total there are eight dogs. So of the eight, how many are black Labradors? There are three black Labradors, so the probability is three eighths. And there's only one golden retriever, so the probability is one eighth for the golden retriever. Question number five. So we know that in total, Zachariah has 40 marbles. So what's the probability of red? Well, that's 30 out of 40, which is the same as three out of four, three quarters. And the probability of white is zero because it's only, she only has red or blue. 6A, um, so there's 37 numbers available. There's one green zero. So therefore, if we get rid of the green zero, there are now 36 numbers available, which are split evenly red or black. 36 divided by two is 18. So there's 18 red, 18 black. So the probability of getting a red is 18 out of 37. In America, there's an extra green one. So um, in, the, in the European one, the probability of getting a green is one out of the 37. Whereas in America, it's going to be two out of 38 and two out of 38 is not double one out of 37. Double one at one thirty seventh is two thirty sevenths, not two thirty eighths. So the answer to that is no. Which style of roulette wheel has a higher probability of landing on black? Well, in the European one, it's 18 out of 37, whereas in America, it's 18 out of 38. So you're more likely on the European one to land a black. Question number seven. So the midfield is a numbered nine to 16. So nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So that's eight. <coughs> so eight out of the 20, which is the same as four out of 10, which is the same as two out of five. Forwards are 17 to 20. So that's 17, 18, 19, and 20. So that's four numbers out of the 20. So four twentieths, two tenths, one fifth. All of these answers are fine. For question number eight, we know that in total there are nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 seats available. So out of the 15, what is the probability that she does not have a center seat? So that therefore would mean a window or an aisle seat. So that's six out of 15. And six out of 15, you can divide the top and the bottom by three to turn that into two fifths if you want. Two fifths as a decimal is certainly easy. Uh, two fifths is easier to convert into a decimal than six fifteenths. So um, I think the only way to go from here to a decimal, um, although you can use a calculator, is six divided by 15, which is the same as two divided by five. But maybe you know that one fifth is 0 0.2, so two fifths is 0 0.4. And to turn the decimal into a percentage multiplied by 100, so that is 40%. So in a pack of cards, we know that there's a pack of in, uh, 52 cards in total. So there are um, 
There are four suits, spades, clubs, hearts, and diamonds. So there's a jack of each, a queen of each, and a king of each. So in total, there's uh, three times four, which is 12 uh, face cards and 12 out of 52. That can be simplified to three out of 13. What's the probability that she chooses a spade? Well, we know there are four suits. There's the same number of spades as there are clubs, hearts, and diamonds. So therefore that's one out of four, which is one quarter. Question number 10. The probability of Jane and her partner winning a tennis match is 0 0.6. So the probability that they don't win is going to be 1 minus 0 0.6, which is 0 0.4. Assuming the probability of winning is independent of all other results. In other words, the probability does not change. Um, what is the probability that they win three games out of three? So the probability of winning the first match is 0 0.6. The second match is 0 0.6 and the third match is 0 0.6 as well. What we need to do is multiply these probabilities together and that comes to 0 0.216. A lot of people are never sure whether to add or multiply the probabilities, but if you were to add them together, 0 0.6 plus 0 0.6 is 1.2 uh, and one is it's a guaranteed dead cert. 1.2 that doesn't make sense because it can't be more guaranteed than being 100% certain. So that's an indication that we need to be multiplying here, not adding. Question 11, a spinner has a probability of landing on one with a probability of 0 0.3. So what is the probability that it does not land on one for three consecutive spins? So if it lands on one, it's 0 0.3. So not one is going to be 0 0.7. And it's going to be 0 0.7 for the second spin and 0 0.7 for the third spin. Multiply these uh, 0 0.73 times and you get 0 0.343.